right so these are some plant identifier apps on the app store and as you can see the plant in plant identifier app is making over nine hundred thousand dollars a month and nature okay. id is making okay so there are some haters in the comments that saying the title is misleading where it says i use ai to build this 900k per month app in a day i'm going to explain why that title is not misleading then i'm going to give you what you came here for the stuff that he left out because one of the comments says uh this is a great demo but like the others said the title is a little misleading okay i don't think you guys are reading properly it says then he responds it says i just replicated the core functionality and yes there is way more to be done this is a beginner's guide if you go to the description of the main video it says i use claude ai to build the core functionality of an app that is doing well over 900k per month the core functionality not the entire app guys so you can't put all of that in the title obviously so open up the description before you start you know becoming a hater but i'm going to help you guys take what he did in this video and enhance it fix all bugs and actually have a complete app over five hundred thousand dollars a month and this one is doing more than eighty thousand dollars a month so these are basically planned identifier apps and today in this video we are going to replicate and create the core functionality of this app completely using ai i mean let me show you what i built using ai today so this okay. right here is the plan identifier website that we are going to build today so as soon as a person lands on the page they'll be given two options so either they can upload an image or take a photo live from their smartphone so when a person clicks, clicks on this button, they will get an option to select an image. And once they do so, the image will appear in here. The status will change to identifying. And within less than a couple of seconds, they'll get the important details like the name of. OK, so in the comments, another person says, OK, please explain how this is making money. So there's multiple ways that you can monetize an app or a site like this, guys. Uh, they do it with, the uh, you know, the Facebook video downloaders, the uh, watermark removal websites for Instagram and TikTok and all of that. They make money off of um, upgraded subscriptions, like if you want like upgraded features and everything. And they also make money off of ads with all of the traffic that's going to go to these type of sites just with curiosity and everything they're going to make money off of adsense okay the plan the scientific names a description and also a table containing important informations of the plant okay and this website right here you can to build it without zero coding knowledge and that's exactly what we're going to discuss right in this video so this right here is the core functionality of those apps that we seen earlier and these apps so as you just heard him say out of his own mouth, this is the core functionality. He didn't say it's the completed version, okay? This is what I mean. When I do these videos, I tell you guys that you have to nitpick. You have to like slow it down, listen to what the person is saying before you start jumping down their throat are making hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month so if you know a little bit about coding you can go ahead and push into production and start monetizing it and make a lot of money so in this video i'm going to break down how i built this plant identifier web app in next.js using cloud ai and anyone with zero coding knowledge can follow along and create this particular app see i already have some coding knowledge and i know next.js react and stuff like that but even if you have like zero knowledge on these domains or these coding languages you can to build apps like this using cloud ai and that's exactly what we're going to see in this video okay. well what is this is this an ad oh no skip let's get to it Cloud AI. To build this website, we are going to use an AI tool called Cloud AI. It's a chatbot similar to ChatGPT, but it performs better when it comes to coding sort of things. So all you need to do is head over to cloud.ai website and sign up for a new account. And once you're there, let me just go ahead and paste a command, something like this. Create a plant identifier website in Next.js 14 using the app directory. And so make sure you screenshot the prompt, guys. Make sure you screenshot the prompt so you can copy it. If you're trying to follow along and see if he's just misleading, you have to do it yourself to figure that out. Come on, follow along. No SRC folder. So as soon as the website loads, the user should be given the option to upload an image of a plant and the website should show the name and other important details on the screen. And as for identifying the plants, you can use the Google Gemini API. Also make sure to style the website in a modern way using Tailwind CSS. So let's go ahead and send this message, okay? Okay, the AI has started generating the code for the scene. 
So let's wait till it is done. That's actually impressive. Right. Now AI has given us a lot of steps and code to get started with the project. So the first. All right. One thing I want to say is, even if it doesn't give you the full functionality of an app, guys, do you guys know what it, how much, how expensive it is to hire a developer to come up with code? and all of this extra stuff. So for you to be able to leverage to even get the core functionality and then go to a place like Fiverr or Upwork or a group or something and find a developer that can take it the rest of the way, at least you brought like 70% of what they needed. You understand what I'm saying? So you won't have to spend as much money as you used to back in the day when you had to like create the code from scratch, guys. Y'all yeah, yeah, understand. So be grateful. Thing that we want to do is to create a Next.js project. So in this video, I'm not going to use VS Code or any other local IDE. Instead, I'll use Replit. So Replit is basically like an online IDE where you can test code, write code, and do all bunch of stuff. So all you need to do is head over to replit.com and create a new account. And I'll go ahead and click on this option that says Create Repl. And let me just select, uh, sorry, Next.js app directory. And I'll click on the option that says Create Repl. And wait for a while, okay? Okay. In mean all right, you got somebody in the comments that's like awesome. He said, bro, this this is insane. I have no more excuses not to build anything I want. And then they thank him. Now, that's the truth, guys. Like, yo, even if this is not the full function in app, like it shows the potential. It shows it like, dog, I was just watching uh, an interview with a dude that made an app just with ChatGPT and he got all the code. <laughs> like, and this is better than ChatGPT. So the dude did what I just told you a minute ago. He took the code from ChatGPT, found the developer on um, on on Upwork, and just handed him the code. He said, "Hey, now put this together." <laughs> so he didn't have to pay him to come up with the code or none of that extra stuff. ChatGPT did that. So this is still a great opportunity. So once where you were uh, you were once paying somebody thirty, fifty thousand dollars, or even more to like code your app and everything or your website you can now get them to do it you can get them to just put it together just handle the labor they don't even have to have the knowledge now you can bring the knowledge the coding and everything and they can just handle the labor and you can just get that done for one to two thousand dollars maybe depending on who you find well, let's go ahead and see so these are all the configuration settings that we need to do but uh, since we are using rapid it will be all taken care of and the first thing that we need to do is to install this Google Generative AI NPM package. So let me just go ahead and so copy that So many negative one. people in the comments. And I'll go to shell, paste it, and hit enter. So let's wait till it is installed. And then NPM package is now successfully installed. So the next step is to... All right, so you guys have probably seen this already. So let me give you what you came here for. You came here for uh, the fix. What is the fix for this? How to go the rest of the way? I gave you a couple hints, but we're going to give you the list of what you're going to need first. Okay, so uh, you're going to need Tailwind. Uh, number one, the project setup is uh, Tailwind CSS. Okay, and it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Tailwind is an open source and free to use. Okay. Uh, number two, API for plant identification, okay? So I don't rem remember him listing off all of this and stuff, so I'm going to list it off for you. You should be writing this stuff down, okay? Uh, so it's, number two is API for plant identification. Uh, Google Generative AI API, prices vary based on uses, obviously. All right, uh, for reference, starting at 0 0.002 uh, cent, and uh, all the way up to 0 0.06 cent per request. Depending on the model and specific requests, uh, it'll allow you to generate text and image. Okay, Google offers free trials and credits for new users. Debugging and uh, pro troubleshooting, Claude AI is gonna do all that, okay? So varies by user, often around you know 0 0.01 cent per 1,000 tokens for basic uh, uh, model requests. Some providers like uh, Poe by Quora offer limited free usage. Okay, UI elements, okay? Uh, user interface, that's what that stands for. Navigation and footer, free to create and build these elements directly with code, if you know how to do that sort of thing. Number five, React icons for feature cards. You're gonna need this. All right, React icons NPM package is free and it's open source. Um, 
Number six, device camera integration. Okay, device camera API. So you can, these are all things you can go and Google and find, guys. And all of them are free for the most part, except for usage credits and stuff. All right, so it's free browser-based camera access to typically, is typically supported natively and doesn't require any additional cost. Number seven, moving gradient background. All right, custom CSS for background styling. It is free. It's built into Tailwind and standard CSS. Now, number eight, watch this. Production costs. If you're planning to deploy for public or commercial use, consider Next.js hosting. Free for basic projects uh, with paid tiers starting at around $20 per month. Now, I don't have any you know, affiliate link or nothing like that. So I'm just listing off all this stuff to help you guys. Next is domain registration. So this is if you're taking it official, you want this to really be a business for real, for real. Domain registration, typically 10 to $20 per year, depending on the registrar, name cheap, host gator, whatever you want to go with. Backend hosting server cost prices vary based on hosting providers and app scale. Like how many users you're trying to get to and all of that. All right, so <clears throat> let's watch a little bit more. Let's see how it's going to turn out. Using AI to create a song, just oh go to Saz, type in your prompt. Get out of here. Failed to identify plant unexpected token. So let's just copy that one, that error message. Head back to Claude. Repeat the same process. I'll just send it. Send the message to Claude and let's see. Hmm. All right. So the is returning. All right. So the problem is that the way uh, the response is being sent by Gemini API include markdown responses, but we only need JSON. So for that, we have an updated code. Let's just copy it again. Head back here, and let's paste it in here. Cool. And now let's also replace the API key once again. Okay. Head back to the website. I'm just quickly refresh it. Okay, selecting the image again. Ah, a boom. Now we get the name of the plant, okay, the scientific so it worked. name, and also it worked. It worked. a bunch of description. Now let's Okay, so it works. So now let me give you guys a couple takeaways from this so you don't have to watch the entire video all over again. Um, the, the point is the basics of this app actually works now if you have a different type of app idea it might even be able to build a full functionality for you so this is just the core functionality for this specific project right here i recommend you watching some more of his other content dude can actually pull off some awesome uh stuff right okay and it's not just clickbait all right so five major takeaways from this number one ease of building web apps with AI assistance. AI tools like Claude AI can assist throughout the coding process from writing code to debugging, making it accessible even for those with minimal coding knowledge. Another thing I wanted to say about that, guys, is for those of you who get stuck at those uh, answers, when they give you the answers, the responses that say, oh, uh, Claude AI can't do this, or Claude AI isn't programmed for this ask questions the bible says you have not because you ask not so what do i mean by that ask chat gpt and claude okay well what other ai can do this or what are the steps for, to fix this how do i go from here where do i go from here ask that instead of coming to the internet complaining just ask ask everything <laughs> ask questions the people that ask questions get far Y'all make fun of them in class i'm like look at them they stupid they just ask a million questions they don't know nothing no they're sure find that they're going, uh, they're reassuring themselves that they're going in the right direction while you stand still, guessing or, or just accepting defeat. So ask questions of on the same platform that you're building on. Ask Claude AI how to get around whatever is blocking you. Ask them. See what they say, okay? See what it says. All right, now, <clears throat> number two, dynamic API integration with Google Generative AI. Integrating uh, powerful APIs like Google Generative uh, AI enables complex functionalities like real-time plant identification, while also giving developers control over which models to use based on functionality and budget. That's why I included the budget, because it, uh, based off of your budget, you'll have different options, okay? Number three, seamless user experience enhancements by using exponents 
uh, I mean, by using components like navigation bars, footers, um, feature cards, and adding background effects and stuff, guys, and camera integrations, you can enhance the app's user uh, interface for a polished, more professional experience for your users because you can build it all day. Like, there's other apps out here that can build stuff with a push of a button, but the apps come out looking like stupid and stuff. You know, come out looking 1990-ish, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right, so check this out. Number four, efficient debugging with AI powered troubleshooting. All right, debugging is simplified by using AI tools to quickly identify and fix issues, reducing the time spent on manual error tracking and making coding more uh, efficient and less frustrating. Yeah, that's, that's much needed. Number five, production ready development with Next.js and Tailwind CSS. By combining these two, you can build responsive and visually appealing apps. That's what I was just talking about a minute ago that are ready for production deployment and especially when using frameworks like Vercel for hosting, guys. So I pray that I helped you fix whatever was blocking you. Um, you should be able to go ahead if you take all of these tools and all of this research that I compiled for you. If you don't remember it, if you didn't write it down, replay the end part of this video and write it down for yourself so you can go and build a fully functioning version of this app.